so many sights and smells. <laughs> You know, and some of the guards are like, why haven't we sent your people before? And the Drakthar are like, we want to know too. <laughs> it's kind of neat, this, this mount looks like a or an infernal cross with a flaming toilet seat. Where are you at? You up? I'm up on the plateau. Okay. Talking to a uh, cinder thrush. Okay, I'm working my way up there. You can fly. Yes, but I want to wait and use the flying. For one, I gotta get up and get those uh, adventurers off the pl off the uh, mountaintop. Well, that's the same place I'm talking about. No, it's not. Elevator, why are you taking so long? There it goes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that mount can fly. <laughs> it's just a random floating moose in the air. Wrong way. Loktar! Farewell. But now I can use flying mounts if I want. Because <laughs> you go by the train yeah. on the way here. Well, I didn't because I didn't think ahead. I only thought of it because I was going by, but I didn't do that on my other form. characters. Oh, there's a night elf druid here. What are you doing, Sarah? But how was the food? Okay. Anything for an ally. Good to see you again, Ryu. I hope your exploration of Orgrimmar was fruitful. It's a city built on kinship and courage. I've just spoken with the Horde Council, and they have accepted the Aspect's invitation to the Horde Isles. Preparations for the journey will begin shortly. Come, let us speak with the others. Okay. For a cutscene, cutscene! The Aspects will be pleased that the Council has accepted their invitation. The Dragon Isles hold great wonders, and many perils. Those who answer the call will face whatever challenges may come. The strength of the Horde has always been its people. I am heartened to hear it. But know that the Dragon Queen will not abide conflict on her shores. The Horde honors its truce with the Alliance. To that end, the Reliquary will work together with the Explorers League on an expedition of discovery. I expect we will learn much from one another. Do not forget, Ibisian, that the Dragon Isles are home to the Drakthir as well. We intend to rediscover our past and lay claim to our future. Then let our peoples make this journey together, Syndra Thresh. Agreed. Along the way, we can hone your combat skills, despite your obvious lack of wings. I see there is much work ahead of us. Come then, the Dragon Isles await. There's much more to the Dragon Isles beyond the Forbidden Reach. It is wonders its wonders will be as new to you as they will be to the Horde. Hail, adventurer. 
I shall help you prepare for the Dragon Isles. I am sure your arrival in Orgrimmar drew the intention of its citizens. No doubt some were more comfortable in your presence than others. When I was a young dragon, I took on the mortal visage you now see. It allowed me to live among the Torrent of High Mountain as an ally. Though your path differs from mine, the essence of dragonkind flows through you as well, Riustraza. Perhaps that will allow you to assume a visage of your own. Let us walk together. And then he proceeds not to go anywhere. Always. I will help if I am able. Okay. The Black Dragonflight will protect I will guide you as best I can. I am going to pop off real quick and then pop back on. Okay. How you wish to be seen by others. It is a personal choice you alone can make. I chose my visage because I wish to live quietly among the High Mountain Tauren. Your choice will be your own. Good. Find the visage within. Let us work together. You have a noble visage indeed, Ryu. Most distinctive. I do not know why your visage is unique from that of a dragon. Perhaps when we learn more of your past, the answer will present itself. But for now, we must prepare for the journey ahead. Our legacy will be renewed. Champion, the veil uh -huh. between our world and the Shadowlands okay. has been sundered. Well, um... The Ebon Blade stands ready. I await you in Orgrimmar. Come. It was just Before the very the beginning, the, just the beginning quest I was going to focus on here for this character. So when Dragonflight starts, you know, I will be focusing on... We'll be focusing on Ryu and Rosa. And then we'll also be focusing on some ally characters, but not Drakthir. Just, uh... Actually... Ronnie and Alexa, who are my original characters we put in the game. So, uh... They're direct there without being direct there, but they're also from another dimension, and it's it's um, it's complicated. Okay, that will be it for this recording session. Thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. There we go. There's the cutscene. Oh, now it's lagging again. I have a really good computer, but it's been doing that lately. Ordinarily, such a flight would take considerably longer, but when the bronze aspect himself speeds you on your way, it allows one to make the journey in record <laughs> time. Ah, the soldiers with the pointing weapons, not to worry, merely a formality. I shall see about arranging an audience with the Lord Commander while you and Azurathel get your bearings. Thankfully, I wield considerable influence in the city. Perhaps Rathion's influence isn't as considerable as he thinks, if this is the welcome he receives. 
Perhaps we should get an idea of the city, if it is to be our new home. A scouting mission, if you will. Go, see what this place has to offer. I will follow Rathion and attempt to help in any way I can. Try not to upset the locals any more than you must, though. I doubt many of them are used to seeing dragons walk among them. Meet up with us once you've gotten the lay of the land. Soldiers of Stormwind, allow them to be You are warned against making unannounced visits, especially in company. A thousand pardons, my dear Spymaster, but I come bearing the titles of the dragon aspects. Okay. It's kind of amazing some of the guards are like, yes, I love your skills, and then the others are like, I'm not afraid of you, dragon. Dragons don't belong here. Uh... I think the reason I am so draggy, laggy lately is because the amount of people currently playing, it's irritating. Let's see. Oh, you go touch me, baby? You reach out and touch mama? Skinny, and also not that kind of horde. Uh, let me out. Yeah, but also different, too. I want to... I, I know I could mount up and get wherever I wanted, but... I just like going around on foot for the first time here. I've read the portal room. That's all the way on the other side. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still going to go on foot. I love the way their footprints sound. That is something I haven't heard them say before about the civilians.
Um, I wasn't expecting you to be, lady. <laughs> Don't know what he's excited about, but seems to be excited about something. <laughs> At least she loves dogs. <laughs> Are you sure you're a dragon or just a big lizard? Hey! Uh, hey. To a barrel roll. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. That's fun. I can remember where the embassy is. I am more than happy to help the Alliance find new allies. My first steps in the Stormwind were quite daunting, but I now consider it a home. I love Asa and pandas in general, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I gotta make it to the keep, and that's gonna take a little bit. And yes, I still want to do it by foot. <sighs> Though I do wonder if, you know, since... Drakthir can go to any expansion they want. Do they now have an Evoker class hall in Legion? Or not? I guess I'll have to see for myself. <laughs> Ground leave. I guess that's like shore leave. 
except they're flyers, so. <laughs> See, I reload it and it runs just fine, no lagging. It's like, why is it lagging to begin with? You are a small hippogriff. Why is there a small hippogriff? <laughs> the Alliance has granted us asylum here in Stormwind. It sounds like quite an interesting place. Ah, Bellastraza. I trust your tour of the city went well. No one threw any fruit at you, did they? I am told that happens sometimes. At any rate, I just finished meeting with Lord Commander Turalyon and his allies, and they have accepted the Aspect's invitation to the Dragon Isles. Preparations are underway for a journey to your homeland. Ah, but where are my manners? We should have a chat with the others. Okay. <laughs> And it was doing so good, too. There's much more to the Dragon Isles beyond the Forbidden Reach. I can't wait for you to see it. Now then, I believe that diminutive archaeologist said something about putting together an expedition. You've turned every head in Stormwind with your arrival, Bellastraza. No doubt some citizens were more amenable to your presence than others. In order to better commune with other races, we dragons adopt a mortal visage like the one you see before you. Not only does it put allies at ease, but it makes passing through doorways considerably less disruptive. Clearly, the essence of dragonkind flows through the Drakthir. I suspect you may share our ability to assume a, visus, a visage. Walk with me. Now, I think they put this earlier than it was before. Because originally, we'd have to go, uh, you know, gather up everybody first. Oh, yeah. Your visage suits you well, Bellastraza. It is unlike any I have seen before. Perhaps when we learn more of your origins, you will understand why the Drakthir visage differs from that of a dragon. But now we have an expedition to prepare for. <laughs> 